Holyhead School in Birmingham and out of the sight of pupils, a man is on a mission to help teachers tackle classroom behaviour. Here, supporting teachers in the classroom has been taken to another level of sophistication. Deputy Head John Wooden has pioneered the use of the latest communication technology to provide real-time classroom coaching. From the privacy of his office, John can not only see and hear what is going on in the lesson, but he can also speak directly to the teacher through a hidden earpiece. Hi, Jenny, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. OK, that's fine. This provides the opportunity for instantaneous feedback and instruction. Now, remember, I'm only going to speak uh, when there's a, a natural lull. I'll yep. try not to speak over you. Yep, yep, fine. So you can just go in the natural flow. Don't worry about things, just do as you would normally do and we'll be fine. The pupils will be completely unaware they are being filmed until after the lesson is finished. Today, it's the turn of NQT Jenny Campbell. She'll be teaching Year 8 on a Friday afternoon. It's only the third time Jenny has taught this class of 18 pupils. It's a science lesson on molecular structure and will last for one hour. I'm hoping John can help me with establishing the behaviour strategies that I want to use with this class, picking up on little bits that I can improve on in terms of getting them sat down listening and then focused on their learning. Girls, will you put your dates, heights, objectives in your book, please? Jenny is a, is a relatively new teacher. Um, we're trying to make sure that she's uh, providing a framework, really, for the students to work within. So she's going to have to do certain things to teach uh, them how to treat her. OK, right then, Year 8. Listen. Carlos? I want you to put today's date, title and objectives in your book. All of you, by the end of today, must know the difference between an element and a compound. What level is that, Shireen, if we're working there? Shireen. Put them. Level 4. Vulcan, I don't want to hear calling out. Pop your leg down on the floor and listen. OK. Some of you, then, you should... This is what I want really most of us to be doing. I can see pens being picked up. Put them down. I'm going to give you a minute to write these down in a second. Vulcan, pop your pen down. Well, well done, Jenny. Well done. Vulcan, I'm waiting. Thank you. OK. Carlos? Yeah. You should, then, be able to know that compounds... Maria? You should know that compounds and Habib. You should know by the what, what she's doing there. She's used a few a few interrupted sentences like Habib, and what we're going to do now is and there's a silence. Then she's using the name, and the idea of that is she breaks she she breaks from the, from the lesson and the learning to a behaviour thing. She walks to the side, gets the silence. When she's ready, walks back. And that's really key. Again, separating behaviour and learning. It's, it's just top... That is a real top move to use when you're managing kids. It's really excellent. You can have these between friends. You could have a really good friendship. Hands up. I'm looking for hands up. That's a good idea. Tell Vinda. Pardon? A bond. A bond, OK. Brilliant. So, you could, by the end of the day... Another interesting thing, which she, she's picked up on from some earlier work we've done, is, is the position of teaching. So, what we're trying to do is isolate a teaching position. So that when you go there, it's a bit like, like the old Skinner's pigeons and Pavlov's dogs. That they know that they're going to be taught from there a certain piece of work. Vulcan? So I'm just looking, she's standing still again. And, and, and that ties in with what she's just doing, where she stands absolutely rock still. And that silence, plus the stillness, is kind of a trigger for the kids to start looking at her again. Right then, guys, I'm going to give you ten seconds just to finish off the one you're on, if you're still writing, then we're going to move on. Jenny, that's good, that's good timing. Make, make sure you keep on mentioning the time. Oh, you've got ten seconds to do this, you've got... Five minutes to do this, you've got seven minutes. Always go for those kind of odd, oddy numbers that makes it sound good. Well done. Right then, guys. If we can pop our pens down, doesn't matter where you're up to, I'm asking you to stop now, so pop your pens down. Carlos, don't worry about finishing that off, just pop your pens down. Zainab, pop your pens down, please. See those micro-instructions again? Brilliant, Pens down, pens down, pens down. Nathan. 
Yeah. Looking this waiting way. For Michael to pop his pen down. Yeah, you know, infilling right names. Pens down. Because I'm just waiting for you, Habiba. Yesterday yeah. we looked at this thing. What is this thing, Randall? Can you tell me? The periodic table. Fantastic. Okay. Who can really impress me by telling me how many? Of our elements in the periodic table, what proportion of them are metals? Three quarters. Three quarters. Fantastic, Talvinza, you've really learnt that. Okay. Don't open these boxes. Jenny? Yeah. Just go and, just go and stand by uh, Vulcan uh, for a second and see how he's doing. Remind me of my instruction. Um, hang on. I've given a very clear instruction. Do not open these boxes. So I want to see these boxes closed. Just try and move in a little bit more. Vulcan. Vulcan. I'm going to give you a choice. You can put this back and you can follow my instructions, or I'll take this away and you'll have to watch everyone else do the act class. Right. Do not throw them. <laughs> OK. Right then. Brilliant. So what you're going to do is you're going to make for me those models, just like I showed you before with water, OK? You must be able to tell your partner what elements are in that compound. You should be able to tell them how many of each element is that compound. And you might, you could be able to tell them how many bonds there would be in that compound. Can you please put all of the plasticine, including your models, back into that tub Sit down, facing this way. Perfect. Every bit of plasticine back into those tubs. The lid's on and you look in this way, please. Year eight, listen. I want all the plasticine back in those tubs. I want the lids on the tubs. I want you sat facing me. OK. Remember to put a few names in there. Just sprinkle a few names in, just to chibi them along. Facing me, please. Maria, Safia. Plasticine, back in the tub, you facing me. Carlos, that. Talvinza, face the front, please. Talvinza, take your arm off that table, sit at your desk. Right, I want those back in the tubs. Vulcan, Vulcan, I want the plasticine back in the tub, I want the lid on, I want you facing me. Guys, we need to move on. Great stuff, fantastic, Brilliant. that's spot on. Me. Fantastic. OK, we've got a group over here who followed my instructions. Well done, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Is this an element or is it a compound? Hands up, Marie, if you can tell me. I've got two atoms of oxygen. I've put them together. Zainab. Right, it's not a compound. Avatar, it's an element. It's an element because it's the same. Uh, Ty, they're the same. As soon, though, as I add something different to it, Vulcan, what would that be now, an element or a compound? Compound. Compound, OK. What we need to do now is some of you got that, some of you, we kind of need a little bit more practice. If there is only one type of element there, OK, even if there's two joined together, so even in, like, oxygen goes round as two, OK, even if I have two atoms... I just want to make a note about her style. Either your pocket or my desk. Have you noticed, as the lesson's gone on, it's gone more and more conversational and more as though you're talking to your, to your friend. The, the skill of that is you're, you're leaving them with the choice to make and then they will take the consequence of that. And that's really key because she's not going to get in a confrontation, she's going to leave him with the choice. And if he chooses the wrong choice, she'll deal with it afterwards. And that's, that's really, really important. You see, she's not interrupting the flow of the lesson. So that would be my drawing of this. What I also try and do is to keep a, 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 a kind of um, approximate time of how long she's doing things for. So that gives her an idea also, not just for behaviour management, but um, is she spending too long up front? So are her kids getting bored, so is it therefore her fault that they're then messing around? So it's just that little timing to keep the pace of the lesson so the children are interested in what she's doing without getting bored. Because, I mean, my, my attention span is not that good, so I know kids aren't going to be that good. Vulcan, can you put your feet on the floor, please, and face the front? Right. As soon as you get the molecule on your desk, then, Ty, you need to get going. All right?
Is now this is, this is going to be really to interesting. To make it clear to you. Transition time from her up front to being on task right. in a practical so is often more difficult. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to come and speak to you two in a moment. <laughs> well done, Jenny. Well Work spotted. Now go and stand right by him. Go and stand right, right next to him. She's gone straight to that little group there, who are, who are the ones who are going to be the first thing she's going to deal with to get on task straight away. And then she can pick up the drifters later on. That's awesome. Right, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need you looking this way. Looking this way. Jenny, make, make sure that they're all watching you. Um, you've got some to your left that aren't still. You need to have them facing Habib, you. Habib, facing me. That's it, don't stand for any who don't. Just wait for them to Just do keep it. Keep looking at me. That's another really important point, that if you're going to ask for something, make sure you get it. Because if you ask, face this way and somebody doesn't, every time you say after that, they're just going to do the same as they did before and not look at you. Things underneath the tape, so you're looking at me. There you go. She's just corrected him. Fantastic. Do the same as the beat for me, please. Took your... Brilliant, thank you. Still waiting for people to be quiet. Pens down, mouths closed, looking this way. OK, Jenny, just have a look to your left where Vulcan and the boys, you really need to get those tight into you now for this last section. Pens down, looking this way. Well done, well done. Pens down, looking this way. Quickly, please, then sat down. I take a coffee box for me, I need to look over here. There's one in that table there. That's it, Jenny, you need to get this really tight now. Nice, good, good uh, finish to the lesson. Don't let them go until they're all ready. Sit down. Easy. Both of you at the end of the day. Have you? Good, Jenny, well done. Now, the good thing about that is it was only a little play thing, but we have to be careful of the danger. So she stopped it. She doesn't want to deal with it now, she wants to finish the lesson. I'm going to deal with you at the end of the day or later. Yay! Stop! OK. Sit down for me, please, Vulcan. Now, can I go? Stop! Look at me. With your mouth closed. Well done, Jenny. Get above the volume. Now talk normally. Quickly. And I wouldn't worry about this. It's Friday period four. Some people in work don't work on a Friday afternoon. Right, sit down, Vulcan. Right, middle tables, off you go. Sometimes when you're stood there waiting for quiet and it seems like you're waiting for ages, you'd be quite you can be quite tempted just to, oh this isn't working and move back to something else. Whereas to have John standing there saying, you're doing great, stand there, keep there. It gives you the, the confidence just to wait, not worrying that you should be teaching them something or they should be doing an activity, that it's OK for, to be using that time to set up all the behavioural management strategies, really. As far as the behaviour management goes, that is a good lesson, and she's grounding them into the fact that she's in charge, she's not going to be uh, have people talking over her while she's talking, like she doesn't let other people talk over other children, which is as important. Um, and then, as a long-term thing, she needs to be doing that hour after hour, day after day, month after month.